And y'all want to know something? I'm going to open up this. The back. I let Randall use my Jeep. And guess what? He got all these wheels in the back of my Jeep. And y'all know I was just talking about my chrome pieces. I'ma solve that problem. I'm like, he didn't forgot his groceries in my car again. But guess what he guess what he didn't leave? Gas. He didn't leave me no gas. He left his groceries but didn't leave me no gas. So we're gonna have to solve that. Hey, what's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kendra. I am up here at Mod Effects. Y'all can see I got the Jeep back there and I also got another Jeep back there. Um, but last weekend was my birthday weekend i didn't do anything so i am gifting myself with a few mods this week and yes they are coming off of that white jeep over there i told y'all she was gonna be doing something different and i'm getting them so i'm gonna show y'all what i'm getting and walk walking through the process i'm getting some trim pieces my trim pieces are dusty brown or dusty black so we're gonna get those gloss black and so i'm gonna show y'all the before and after but let's do this we finna drop them bumpers and we finna make some things happen so this is how the trim pieces look right now i just want to show y'all a little or a peek before we get started so i'm gonna change out all those trims to gloss black i will also be getting a splitter the splitter will have to go to paint because I'm going to get that gloss black as well. I was thinking about doing it the same color as the wrap blue, but it does have a little bit too many curves to where it needs to be painted. And if y'all haven't already, make sure y'all are following me on Instagram and also on YouTube. Okay, so I got the blanket. We're going to get ready to unload these wheels so that I can put in my new mat. And you can see... It ain't going nowhere, which is exactly what I need because them wheels have been moving around all up in my Jeep. And we can't have that click clacking. So we finna get that handle. I done got the wheels out the back of the Jeep. Um, so those are there. I'm just gonna keep them there temporarily while I vacuum real quick because I'm gonna get ready to put the, um, the mat in this Jeep. Um, I'll show you guys a, a little bit how it looks. It is pretty thick, so I'm hoping that it does the job and keeps everything secure because I do still have groceries to drop off. We're gonna get to it, let me vacuum, and then I'll be right back. I'm just being extra now. Since I'm cleaning, I might as well get it all the way clean. I'm hot now, but we didn't got the Jeep vacuumed out. I'm going to stick my stuff. All right, so Pam, you said this one was from? Just for Jeeps. Just for Jeeps, so just for Jeeps. I'm gonna take it out. It is a little bit heavy, y'all, which is nice. It means it's durable. You can see like it has the grip on that side. And then uh, I'm actually gonna put it in because it's a little bit heavy and I ain't weak, so don't y'all be talking about I'm weak. I ain't weak. Uh, okay, I'm gonna help me get it secure, the top. But you can see that it's a snug fit. Um, it's OEM, so it does have the Jeep logo. I actually had looked at the, the weather tech and I know some people have mentioned that in the comments. Um, I do like this one just because the weather tech one has a little lip on it and the stuff that I'm usually hauling needs to go flat. So this is going to work perfect for all the stuff that I'm, that I'm putting in the Jeep. So definitely um, I'll let you guys know how I feel about it a little later on but I think it's going to be good. Alright y'all so we got the mat in here. I'm going to get ready to put the wheels back in because i do have to deliver those somewhere but pam just called out something which i wasn't aware of and maybe y'all not too but maybe y'all savvy but these here lift up and there are four on each corner but you can actually cross strap since we having a lot of stuff in here and i can't have that moving all around so we're gonna get that together but that's a pretty cool thing um that we have in the jeep all right so we put the wheels back in And the one thing, I mean, it doesn't have a slide to it now, so just having to position it a little bit differently. Got all the wheels loaded up. We shouldn't have any sliding. As you can see, I'm pulling on that pretty hard, but I think this is gonna be a good addition because like I said, I use my Jeep to haul groceries all the time. If you haven't already, 
um, guiding a map for your Jeep is definitely something that I recommend, especially if you're going to be hauling stuff uh, pretty frequently. Like I said, I'll let you guys know how I feel about the um, the mat once I've used it for a few times. But I mean, right now, with me just putting the wheels back in the Jeep, it's all good. So definitely recommend it. So we just got Pam's um, bumper drop and we got the splitter off of it. I'm gonna send that off to paint. Sorry, it's a car above it. That's why we bend it down. But I'm gonna send that off the paint, so I'm getting ready to label that, and then I'm gonna drop my bumper so I can get her gloss pieces, and we can put them on there. So we'll see how that looks. This is the Black Black Ops WK SRT splitter, and it's specifically made for 2011, 2017. Like I was mentioning, I was thinking about wrapping it the same color as the Jeep. That's probably too much blue, but I think black is definitely gonna make that pop. And because there are so many curves here we were thinking that wrap wouldn't even look good or, or hold to it so we're gonna send it off get it sanded a little bit and get it um nice and clean and we'll get it back on the jeep so y'all stay tuned for when we do the install for this one so we are dropping the bumper um if you look over here these are the clips that i was talking about last time you can see that thing is, is messed up but i do have the new clips here I'm going to wait to put the new clips on until I get my headlights done because it ain't no sense in putting the clips on because they kind of a one-time use. So I'm going to just hang out with those for a little bit longer. Got the bumper pulled down. I'm going to take out the trim pieces. First, I'm going to put this on a bumper stand so I don't scratch my bumper. All right, I got my helpers in the back. <laughs> But I'm still super excited about this swap. I can't wait to show y'all the finished product. I know it's a little bit dark outside now, but we've been working for a few hours um, just to get drop the bumpers and get everything done. So I will try to show you the finished product tonight. And if not, I'll definitely make sure that um, I give you guys a close up on the next video. And then we also got that splitter that's going to be painted. So you'll we'll definitely want to stay tuned for that because that is getting gloss black and we put that on there next. Stay tuned because we're going to finish this so I can put my book back on and we can get rolling tonight. off again and now I got Miss Mount of Fix helping <laughs> because Good. guess what I wanted to swap one more thing and I'm going to show you guys because it is all new but we swapped out this piece there we go we swapped out that piece so now I have a fresh one on my Jeep and I cannot leave any detail untouched so have to drop the bumper one more time. We almost done. So yeah, now I really appreciate everybody that's been helping with this swap because we are still working. I think we got here at like 4:30. It's 8:25 right now. So hopefully we'll finish wrapping up soon. But I'm super excited again, and y'all will see me out rolling with my new gloss black pieces. We are officially done. I said that we were done a few minutes ago. A few minutes ago being probably like an hour because it's 10 at this point. But I did want to show you guys my Jeep compared to Pam's Jeep, and y'all already know who that is. Jose, owner of my co-owner of Mod Effects. So definitely, if y'all haven't, make sure y'all following him and the rest of the Mod Effects team. But let me show you 
my Jeep and Pam's Jeep just so you can see the comparison of what we just did. Contrast. You see that these are matte. So you can definitely tell the difference. And now I am officially signing out for this video. I appreciate what y'all rocking with me. If you haven't already, definitely make sure you like this video. Comment, let me know what you guys think. You liking it? Can you tell the difference? Can you even tell the difference? Because I can, but it's the little things that count for me. But if you haven't already, definitely make sure you subscribe to this channel because there's going to be more content and you don't want to miss out. So thank y'all for rocking with me.